Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to cover how to easily add an interactive Google Map into the pages of your site. Here on our site we have a contact page and if we scroll down to the bottom you can see that we've left a place for a map. However, we would like to actually have a map appear below all this text. So that's actually quite simple to do. All we need to do is visit Google Maps at maps.google.com and here in the top search bar area all we need to do is enter our address which I've already saved to the clipboard and once we've done that you can see that it's located us on the map and this is exactly where our business is. To actually get the embed code for this all we need to do is click on this link button here at the top right hand corner of the map itself and clicking on that reveals two little bits of code for us. The top part is the kind of code that you would insert into an email, uh, which by the way is great if you want to give someone directions to a location. Uh, you can just copy this and put it right into your email and make life easy for a lot of people. However, we want the actual HTML code here at the bottom. Now this code is quite long. It's much longer than you can see displayed here. So a simple trick to make sure that you get everything in one shot is to triple click inside of that area. And what that does is that highlights all of the code, even the code you can't see from beginning to end. And then you just need to copy it to your clipboard by hitting Control C. Once we do that, we go to the edit panel for our page. And here you can see if we scroll down, this is the area we want to add our map, basically at the end of all of the text on this page. And to enter any HTML code into your WordPress pages or posts, you need to remember to first click on the HTML tab in the upper right hand corner of the editor. And of course, anytime you're looking at code, it's a little bit confusing, but all you need to do is pay attention to the parts that you can read. Here we can see the last sentence although in this case it's quite easy for us to figure out where to add this map because we want it to be at the bottom of the page. So just click return to go to the next line and all you have to do at this point is paste that bit of code into your page by hitting control V and you can see that indeed this is quite a bit of code much more than we ever would have seen in that small little window in our Google map uh, hence why it's very important to triple click make sure you get all of the code if you, for some reason, are having trouble with your map, most likely it's because you haven't grabbed the entire piece of code. So make sure that you do get this from beginning to end. Uh, once we've done that, our job is accomplished. All we need to do is update the page to save our changes and then click on View Page so that we can now view the page that's in our site. Scrolling down to the bottom reveals that, indeed, we have added a map to the contact page on our site. And not only that, but it is in fact an interactive map. You can see that we can drag it around. We can zoom in and zoom out if need be. And visitors can even click on the directions link if they want to get directions to your business. So with very little work at all, we've made it easy for visitors to our site to find a physical location. That's about all for now. So thanks very much for watching and have a great day.